right, everybody, welcome back to the Tomahawk. Happy May Day, which is today, the day of this recording. We're going to talk about the Hawks. Last two games versus Florida, two games they should have won. They did not. Um, they are a better team than they let on, but they cannot close the door and they cannot stop making bad mistakes defensively. I got Matt and Justin with me on the podcast, my co-host. I may even say my lovely co-host. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> but anyways, Hawks lost. Uh, bright side of this to Brinkett was uh, was great. He was amazing. Zadarov completely uh, blew a blew a tire on a, on a goal tonight, which could have been completely preventable. Anthony Duclair played out of his mind uh, the past two games, to be honest with you. And by playing out of his mind, he scored two goals, I believe, which is... Um, I would probably say the ceiling for him. I think that he's a t- really talented guy. I just, for some reason, he just has a hard time putting it together uh, on the ice. And it kind of goes to show you guys who, you know, like w- w- what is the line of a guy when you, you give up on that talent or you, you continue to try to uh, season him? Uh, I want to bring up another guy, Jonathan Drouin in Montreal. He was someone who was a highly lauded uh, prospect when he came in with Tampa and they had issues with him there. He's in Montreal and uh, they got more issues uh, with him there. I think he's got a leave of absence from the team. Anyways, uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, Duclair has been on what, like 17 teams in the last three years, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> between the Hawks, the Panthers, the Senators, the Coyotes, I'm drawing a blank. I know there's got to be more, but um, Columbus. Yeah, I mean, Columbus. Columbus. Yeah, I think he was for yeah. for at least a couple games, right? Um, I don't know. I I feel like that's typical at this point in the season. They're they're getting beat by guys. I don't want to say single handedly because it's a team sport, but I mean he had a good effort tonight, and it's like, what do the Hawks have to show for it? But another loss in the loss column, and uh, you know, just the 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 playoff hopes dwindling. It cracks me up. I think it was DeBrinket or Murphy. It was somebody from the last game, the press conference afterwards. He's like, well, you know, our we got to keep fighting, you know, get in the playoffs. And I'm like, dude, it's it's over, man. <laughs> you, I appreciate you towing the company line, but uh, if you yeah. think if you think you still got a shot, I got some uh, some land in Arizona to sell you. But uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, it, I mean, it's it's I don't know. It it just really is. Um, I mean, we've talked about this ad nauseum. It's like uh, they, they're better than I thought they would be, which is great. Still got a long ways to go. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm, we'll see what happens because uh, there, there's not much left. And, I mean, Lincoln coming back, played okay. I mean, heck, he faced 42 shots tonight. So, I mean, to give up, what did he give up, five? I mean, four. Yeah, um, I, yeah I don't know. I'm kind of speechless at this point. I don't know about you. Matt, what do you think? I thought the first game – they fought hard to come back. Good to get a point off of them. But even OT, I don't know if you guys noticed, we had the puck the whole time. We did. Yeah, yeah. And and it seems like they got the puck, they went the other way and scored. Yeah. So I was just like, ah, oh, come on. You know, it's, sometimes you, you need a save. But tonight, um, yeah, I, I guess uh, Duclair made the Hawks look pretty bad. <laughs> he made Lankinen look really bad. Yeah. 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 I think I think Lincoln at this point needs like a uh he needs to just go jump in the hot tub and have a martini or something to be honest with you. You know. Ever since Nashville, it seems like they just they did something to him. I don't know what. Well, what happened was he was probably taking a piss and then a boom or he was probably in the in the bathroom dropping a deuce and uh Bowman walks in and uh, he heard Bowman's plans and after ever since then he uh <laughs> He just can't yeah. get his head right because he knows that they're, uh, they're they're playing for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, it's just uh, I, I was I was very curious to see. It was cool to see the uh, the Panthers' other goalie the other night. Was it was it Spencer Knight? Is that his name? Spencer Knight. Yes. Uh, he. I mean, I, 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 I could see him taking the reins from uh, Bobrovsky at some point. I mean, granted, Bobrovsky's Bobop. We'll call him Sergey. Uh, has that you know, Serge? We'll just call him Serge. Has Serge, that albatross. Sergey seventy two. <laughs> He's got that albatross of a contract now. I yeah. mean, no, he ain't going anywhere. How do you get rid so of it? Who would take I, it? You don't. So they're, you got to regret that. 
So you're going to have so. that that toe in that line of okay, you got the guy that's making a ton of money and is still decent, but then you got this other kid waiting in the wings that's a franchise goalie from everything I've read about him. So it's like, so what do you do? And yeah. it's it's almost he, like a Luongo. Um, uh, oh, shoot. oh yeah. Corey Schneider. Oh, Corey Schneider. Who man, talk about a well, even Luongo. They just got rid of that. You know, giant it's funny. Contract. As soon as you said that, it popped right in my head. Yeah, yeah. What about their other goalie, Just? Drieger? Was that is the name Drieger? I think I think he's he's been, good too. He's, he's having a too. great season. So I mean, yeah, f- f- yeah they're, three they're, goalies they got to pick from. We got yeah. a half. We got a half. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give him three quarters. He's got a little ways <laughs> yeah. to go, but yeah, um, Gaudet looked good. I mean, he's got two assists for you know some limited playing time. I thought it was kind of interesting just to see him on the score sheet. Um, defensively, Ian Mitchell looked okay. Had a couple blocks. Um, yeah, I mean, I, there wasn't anything that really jumps off the page that is oh, like, oh man. For me, know. there is. Uh, Connor Murphy did not lose his helmet tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he scored a goal too, so that's yes, that's, he did. Yeah, what? That's he almost strapped down a little tighter tonight. <laughs> the, little, <laughs> I called it on the last one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, so he probably listened. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I hope Subban listened too. Hopefully, it'll motivate him. Motiv- I hope. Motivate him to sign somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's- All right. All right. So uh, so going forward, guys, uh, what do you think is a plus uh, for this team? Uh, are you talking like this season or the last couple games or what? Yeah, what heading you, into, uh- you know, let's just say that the, you know, the season mathematically, I don't believe they're out of it yet, but. Let's just say, you know, we go into the offseason, we don't make the playoffs. You know, from here, going going to the rest of the season, what is a plus that we can get? You know, do we, d- watching these young guys, to me, I think that's a plus because um, Gaudet looked <laughs> looked really good today, man. Uh, I thought that he had really good awareness. Uh, his passing ability seems to be pretty good. Obviously, he's got uh, good hands and he, he looked good playing out there. Uh, I, I honestly believe that Vinny Henestroza deserves to, um, to 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 be back uh, playing next year uh, on this team. I think he looks good. I think that Ian Mitchell, uh, we'll see how his summer goes, uh, and 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 Bowden. I'd like to see them make the team next year. And and most importantly, man, I think Wyatt Kalanick deserves a longer look and should get an opportunity to crack the to crack the team next year. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, completely agree on Wyatt. Uh, I'm curious to see what Mitchell can do next season with more time. Uh, having Stillman, having a potential decent stay-at-home defenseman is nice because I feel like you never know what you're going to get with Zadorov, right? Or Zat or Zadorov, like like, t- um, like tonight, man. Did you see how we blew a wheel and yeah, and then we got a goal? If he didn't do that, the game probably would have been four to four. Yeah. So, and I mean, you kind of got a rough idea. Maybe Lincoln in is something, although like we were just saying, I feel like the last couple, last week and a half, two weeks, he's kind of, I don't know. It could be exhaustion. I mean, he's, he's, he hasn't played this much before. He's young, you know, he, it's, he's still fresh. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's been good to see some of the new guys come in and, and kind of stake a claim, you know, maybe Bowman's not completely off his rocker. (laughs) <laughs> uh, with some of these guys, but you know, it, it, it gives me hope, you know, if they're reloading as opposed to rebuilding, I'm cool with that. I really don't want to sit through a whole rebuild, but, uh, I, I think there's hope, especially if Taves comes back and Kane and Debrinket keep improving. Well, Kane's not going to keep improving. He's where he's at, but if Debrinket keeps improving, Kubelik keeps improving, um, there's pieces. So that's a, that's a good thing. What about you, Matt? Yeah, I think that's well said. Uh, there's good pieces to build off and we got, uh, I think Bowman did okay with the the trading. I think we we got faster, we got bigger on the back end. Uh, we just, you know, we need a, you know, we need a, a healthy full team now to see what we can do. Like right. a healthy Nylander. I mean, I'm not sold on that guy, but I think we should still give him a shot. He's got some skill, and a healthy Taves would be great too. How about we uh, have a package of? Nylander and Boquist for I don't know maybe a first round pick top five pick <laughs> I, I say Boquist Nylander first round pick for Seth Jones mm. 
That's interesting. I would do it. I, I don't I, think that GM's no, that dumb. No, I don't think but... Yarmo Kekalainen. <laughs> yeah, can we? We'd have to clone Bowman and then uh, find him a GM job in the NHL and then trade a bunch of crap to him. I think he'd be the only. He'd be the only, he'd be the only <laughs> yeah. one that would be dumb enough to take it. I feel like at and times. Then two I mean, years later, trade for the same guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Bring him back. Yeah, bring him yeah. back. Or maybe get three players that he's already had and say, "Hey, we got these three guys. We know that you yeah, like." We him. got Andrew Ladd back <laughs> again. Yeah, <laughs> for the yeah. third time. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So let's move off onto the NHL with some NHL news. Matt, you got us? Got anything else? Got? Well, any, I'm sorry. Got anything for us on a, with a five minute major? I do. Uh, the Kraken are officially oh, in the gosh. NHL. Here we go. <laughs> the, I'm, I'm actually. I I was in South Dakota yesterday, and a guy from Seattle was in front of us at the. Um, we were at this wind tunnel thing. It was really cool. And he saw my hat. He goes, oh, you're a hockey fan. I said, yeah, I am. I live in Chicago, and we're getting a hockey team next year. I said, good luck with that. Good <laughs> luck with that. Uh, he goes, I don't know what they're called, though. I'm like, oh, oh boy. boy. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, he was a young guy. Uh, but, I, you know, I said, uh, well, I think you guys can officially sign and trade players as of today. I don't know who you're going to sign or trade for, but. You guys are in, and congratulations. He's like, what, what, he's like, what does that? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm already giving that. Sign, I'm already giving uh, that. Uh, that Seattle, sign language. Seattle <laughs> fan base. I'm already giving it to. Him. I'm already. I don't like them. the name. I, I no. I, I would have been cool. Was it the sockeyes after the salmon? Right? Wasn't that? Yeah, one that, that fun, sounded fun, better. Was, that would have been know? cool. You know. I, I do like Ron Francis, though. <laughs> I think he. Uh, the sport playing doing. the sock eyes tonight. Yeah. yeah. Be sure to get your Omega threes before they well, game. <laughs> what, were, what were you talking about a couple weeks ago, Mike? You're like, what's there to do there? Oh yeah. And Other then, than drink coffee and kill yourself. Yeah. Go to the space needle. Uh, this, I got no, this, yeah. The Seattle Space Needles. Go see go see where they filmed uh Sleeping in Seattle or yeah. Sleepless in Seattle, you know. Yeah. Tom Hanks is wandering well, around who, in the docks. I don't know. I don't <laughs> think he's gonna have his you know, there's much luck as uh, Vegas did. The uh, I think McPhee is the GM, right? He, yeah, he, he nailed it. That was he a, did. He studied. He did his homework, and Ron Francis knows what he's doing. He was he pretty much built this uh, Carolina squad. Yes, and he that does. Don Waddell guy kind of just grabbed the shotgun and kind of oh yeah, out. look what I did. Yeah, but uh, who knows? Who knows what they'll they'll do? Yeah. I... I don't know, Matt, if you saw this online, the other thing I saw that it made me laugh was uh, T- TNT got the secondary rights to the NHL games next season. Did you guys see yeah. that? Right. Yes. So yes. I, I thought it was funny. So they were, you know, making a big thing, which would be cool. Like if they do a studio show like their NBA show, it could be more fun because I'm so sick of watching the NBC studio show. They have. Yeah. If, if they hire Keith Jones and I have to sit and listen to him talk, talk. Yeah. It's just a different uniform. Or, That's all know, it is. Get That's all guys. It is. It's, it's a yeah. reskin. Yeah. Yeah. Or if they bring in Pierre Maguire, do <laughs> not, do not, please, for the love of God, do not put him on the actual broadcast. Let him do the studio show. But and I'll I'll, ra- I'll harp on this again. I don't care where these guys went to high school. <laughs> I don't Inter- care. college or junior yeah, or, or yes. junior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taves, you know, Shaq St. Mary's. Another oh, Harry God. Otter. Oh, yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan that's Jonathan that's Taves, great. man. I watched him when he was 15 years old. I have pictures of him. <laughs> okay, you know. well, that's a that's a whole other issue right there. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, it's like wait it's a minute, like, you have pictures of Jonathan Taves when he was fifteen. <laughs> yeah, does he know but about like, this? What I don't get is okay, so like that that kind of stuff is supposed to appeal to like us as a fan base because we're like in it, we're checking you know Twitter and we're looking on websites. Hell, we we've made you've made a podcast about this. That's how into hockey we are. The people that you're trying to get that are just are new to the sport. They don't care where these guys went to high school or went to uh, junior or, or played in college. I mean, I, whatever. I get it. He's trying. They to They don't something. understand the significance of it. No, no. Because I mean, if yeah. like I love baseball it's just too, too and, much, and you know yeah. the minor league system, but like even on the broadcast in baseball, you don't hear these guys. Oh well, he played for, you know, the South Bend Cubs or the Myrtle Beach Pelicans or you know, and they just go, you know, <laughs> it's no. like who? Wait, what? Yeah, he played cares? with Kenny Powers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but the, the the reason I bring this up is because it made me laugh so much. And I, I get it. Somebody at ESPN probably just Googled Oilers captain, but one of their first promos, and I can't remember if it was for ESPN or TNT. I think it was ESPN. Their first promo, 
they put a picture of an Oilers captain, and it wasn't Connor McDavid. Do you want to take a guess which Oilers captain they put in their promo? Who? Oh. Smith? Andrew Ference. <laughs> really? Oh, man. I forgot he was on the <laughs> And team. I'm like, oh, yeah. someone, someone just Googled Oilers captain took the clip art and oh. slid it into you know the Photoshop and 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 made a made a, a uh, not a <laughs> gift but like an image, and it's like you know okay I was listening to another podcast today and someone br- or not today this week and someone brought up you know would most people know what Connor McDavid looks like if he just had his helmet on would you know it's not like I feel like we would know because we're into this but like the common person they're gonna say oh cool Connor McDavid and they wouldn't even bat an eye they wouldn't even know looks like a dude well, they would say yeah. they'd He's say a guy. Oh, look, they would say He's look it's Justin Bieber. Yeah, he looks yeah. just like him. Yeah, face so, wise, face wise. So I thought that was funny. I mean, I Canadians. think there's there's definitely going to be some learning curves and hiccups with, and I I I'm guilty of this. Like when there's someone who doesn't understand hockey, and it's like, all right, don't please don't let's not talk about it because you're just going to up, end up upsetting me, you know. But it's like <laughs> if if you want to if you want to grow the game, like I feel like I I. I, you have to rein it in and be like, oh, no, you know, that's not correct. Let me explain what's happening and, and, and stuff like that. Because hopefully ESPN will do this right where NBC couldn't really bring in a bigger fan base. And I mean, hockey is amazing. So if you can get people interested in, in watching and, and they're talking about it on Sports Center and, and stuff like that, hopefully it'll grow the game. We'll see. But fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. They got to get that right, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really, ex- well, I, I want to say I'm really excited for it. But. I really hope they don't do something like a uh, Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman show uh, because, uh, you know, that stuff is, uh, yeah, I'm sure that it brings in ratings, you know, but yeah, you know, I'm, like I don't think hockey, hockey fans are, are really looking for that type of stuff. They want something that's funny, you know, and, yeah. and um, you know, like, like there's some kind of antics with it. Like uh, I think it's the, one of the Canadian broadcasts has like, is it BXA and... Yeah, oh. Hockey Night in Canada. Yeah, they have they have Bexa yeah. and they have Kessler, right? Like you really? could find I, yeah. I want to say they do. Like you could find two guys that were former teammates, stick them on a panel like um NBA and TNT has That's uh, perfect. Barkley yep. and Shaq and like I'm not even a huge basketball fan, but when I see that pre-show on, like those guys are pretty funny like when you watch Charles Barkley's hilarious. Yeah, I love yeah, Charles Barkley, yeah, right? Me too. So like if if you could find some find two guys that used to play teammates and the other big thing is they have to not be afraid to say, you know, Thanks. these the guys truth. are these guys are good and be truthful and and it doesn't yeah. have to be oh, well back in my day things were 10 times better, which I mean granted nostalgia That's what I hate about perfect. the Chicago sports media. It's just yeah. kissing 85 bears, ass. 85 bears, 85 bears. And kissing ass. Yeah. Like so NBC guys so Call like out if, Duncan Keith when he sucks yeah, because sometimes he have, does. We love the guy, but yeah. sometimes he's bad. You got to so, say it. Sorry, I'll get off my high horse. That was my uh, that was my thing I wanted to <laughs> no, add, I add think to the that, broadcaster. I, I, I think, think it's that brilliant. those are I think those are really those are really big points. Um, and you know this is no nothing on Jamal Mayers or any of the guys personally, but I think that they're they're a bit handicapped with what they can do. Yeah. By the by, the people sure. that are that are running the show, because sure. in in, yeah, in, right. in in all honesty, the, more than likely they 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 just want to keep their jobs. You yeah. know, yeah. and I can't blame yeah. that. And you I can't, can't you can't call you out your can't. paychecks. You know? sure. yeah. yeah, especially if they're if they tell you, okay, don't say this about Corey Crawford or don't say don't this make about, fun of our coach well, for not even, pulling the goalie. Yeah. NBC just Sports like Chicago, don't the Hawks own part of it? Like, don't the Hawks, the White Sox, and the Bulls own part of NBC Sports Chicago? Like, I, wasn't that the deal? When I they, don't know when they if they have an Comcast? ownership no. stake, okay. but I, I, I know that they, they have a, they, the they all have a deal. Yeah. I like okay, Adam Burrish. Did you guys like Burrish when yeah, he was on? Yeah. I yeah, thought he, he was great. I thought that he brought a lot of natural charisma and flair to, to the show. You know, like, like when you, like when he talks... I see that guy. I'm like, you know what, man? You look. He looks like a cool dude. He looks yeah, like he, a, he looks like a dude that you, you could have a beer with, and he, he wouldn't take himself too personally. You know, like if, if Steve yeah. Conroy wanted to sit down and he's too and, robotic and, and have a yeah. beer with me, I, I would feel like he would. He Check, would please. Now, Mike, <laughs> no, you lifted that beer so good, I, <laughs> and you didn't get any foam on your lips. That was great. You're a pro. Did did you go to Shattuck St. Mary's? Because Peter oh, McGuire. I uh, think that you and Duncan Keith should have beers together. You'd be a good <laughs> duo. Yeah, I, I mean, I I think that I th- honestly, man, I think Jamal Mayers has has done like a great him. job. Yeah, he's done a good a, job. I like Jamal Mayers. I think that he's grown as an analyst since he first started. He seems more confident w- yes. with himself. Doesn't and, it seem 
seem like the third line, fourth line guys make good like analysts. They do. And well, it's probably they, because they those just dudes know don't the take themselves too seriously. Well, well yeah. they 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 watch the game like you know they're not going to get the big minutes and they're like watching these guys front row and I, even backup goalies. They're actually good too. They like know the game. Like, uh, who's on NHL net? Brian uh, Boucher, Marty Biron. Right? Marty Biron, I like. He's I like great. Kevin Weeks is pretty good too. I Kevin like. We- him too. I love him too. Kevin Weeks is great. Yeah. So I mean, I would gladly take those guys. Sorry and- to interrupt, though, Mike. I agree with you. Jamal Mayers is. He's. I. I think he's great, and he should have his his name in the hat if they are going to uh, have a panel like that. I think he's him and Sharpie. If the Hawks don't nab him first. Well, and that's, I think, matter, Mike, I think we were texting this week. Like, I want to know what the Hawks are going to do for the for the um, the the regional broadcast for Chicago. Like, so does NBC right. Sports Chicago stick around, but NBC, they don't have the rights anymore as a whole. So is it more of a, is it like a regional network that pops up? Can we bring Sports Channel back uh, or Hawks Vision <laughs> uh, from when we were kids? You know, I'd like to see that, but we'll see. And, and all I got to say is... Um, uh, what's his name? If uh, Matt, help me out. ESPN, not Bill Clement. Um, Gary Thorne. If Gary Thorne is not in that broadcast booth for at least oh, one game next season, I am going to riot. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he he's awesome. All day and I can listen to his calls all day. You'll have to send me more uh, Fedotenko goal uh, calls from the yep. 2003-04 Stanley Cup. <laughs> I hope they learn, though, from the past. Play other teams. We don't yes. want to see Detroit. Dallas, New Jersey, and Philly over and over again. Because yeah. Gary yeah. Thorne probably, I mean, it's like, oh, God, I'm always saying Lindros, Dominic yeah. Koshik, you know, I stuff mean, I like get this. it. Got to spread it, spread it. They're trying yeah. to tap into those markets. But, like, I would love to see more Canadian teams, too, even if they're playing American teams. Like, you know, yeah. but, again, I don't know how the rights, how that would situate with uh, CBC and TSN and all that. But Oh, I'm sure there's a big rights issue. Yeah, probably. They're like, oh, if you want to see those games, then. We have a product for you. It's called NHL Center Ice, and you could pay well, hundred and eighty dollars a year for that. Well, <laughs> yeah. like, and that's well, that's the other thing too is that's going away. And so I was looking into it because we already subscribed to Hulu, like just for normal TV, not 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 live streaming TV, but just like the app itself. But you can get Hulu, Disney, and ESPN Plus, which is going to have a bunch of hockey games. That's right. going to be like the new Game Center. And it's like twelve, thirteen bucks a month. So I'm like. That's huge. If you can get people and you're you're uh, you're accounting for these streaming rights, I know they said HBO Max will get some of the games too, which is really cool. yeah. So um, I, I I was awesome. I mean, because I could, love that, HBO Max, man. I, think I do it's, too. I think it's great. I do too. I gotta watch that Godzilla movie still though. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Have you watched the uh, Have you watched the uh, Justice League? Ah, uh, yes. Watch that. Watch Mortal Kombat. I like oh, both yeah. those. So I love but, them. Finish yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, man. It was get great. over here. So Matthew scored his thirty eighth goal tonight. Yeah, yeah. I am. They've, they've up, clinched just, too. I'm they going clinched. to make a prediction. Uh oh. That Matthews Canadians stick in seven is going to go cold oh. in the playoffs. In the playoffs. <laughs> I. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, that's why Nick Foligno's there. Take I will. The I will say this. Going. I think that Mitch Marner may step up his game. Someone's going to have to if one of those guys don't score. That, I mean, that's that's been the thing is like they all go cold at once and then no yeah. one does anything. So, um, well, what's up with Anderson? Just anything on him? I haven't heard anything about him coming back. So that means they're going to roll with Campbell and Riddich. And, uh, you know, Campbell, oh, Campbell has great. a good game. Then. <laughs> yeah, he was playing great. And, you know, I totally get it. But um, I think there was somebody somebody on one of our YouTube videos posted about like, yeah, but he's not really the you know, as a backup, he's not not the best. Like if he was, if he was really this good, he wouldn't just be sitting as a backup for all these teams. So, I yeah, they're gonna have to outscore all their opponents if that's the case. So uh, we'll see. And if like like Mike said, if somebody goes cold, and I could totally see that happening because I'm a pessimist, uh, it's gonna get bad real quick. <laughs> so, out of all of the NH, out of the, all of the Canadian teams, which one do you hate the most? Me Vancouver. personally? No, no, Justin. As a as a ma- oh. as a Leafs fan, which um, one do you hate the most? I'll be honest. Like I know I'm supposed to hate the Habs, but I never really minded them. Just growing up, I don't. Care. I'm not too big of a deal. Uh, wasn't much of a deal breaker. I guess I'd go Ottawa just because I don't like their. Was it Melnick? He just seems like a tool. Um, <laughs> not a fan of them. Didn't like. Um, 
Oh, I was never a big Yashin fan growing up. Alexi um, Yashin. Yeah. Danny Heatley's a dick. Yeah, yeah. I did not, yeah, yeah, I really really don't like Danny Heatley either. No, he um, shouldn't even be allowed to play. No. So I don't know. Like Vancouver I've come around on like I like watching a few of their games now that they're not really a rival anymore with the Hawks. Like seeing their some of their young yeah. guys is pretty Sad. cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh Edmonton I could take or leave. They're I, I don't know. I mean they're they're fine, I guess. Calgary's always kind of been just I don't know, unique, I guess. Yeah, I'd say Ottawa. Good just, Ottawa just doesn't they're boring. They don't do anything. They're just kinda they're they're there. And it's like why you know, go away. No one no one wants you here. <laughs> That's probably why they drafted Brady Kachuk to bring some life back to the team. It, to be Great. honest with you, yeah. it seems like Brady Kachuk is they're looking to be the new uh Jerome Gilna there. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Like they need something to get people to watch. I mean, granted, I know it's Canada, but like realistically, and actually, they're in sixth place now. Oh, they only, they're only ahead of Vancouver, but um, yeah. Like besides that, like what else do you have to watch there? Like I I didn't even realize um, Anton Forsberg was their goalie this season. Like I remember he, he was a hawk for what one season, and then he he got banished to Ottawa. So um, yeah, I don't know. That's I that's forgot, I completely forgot about that guy. Yeah, he went another, to Carolina. He's been all over. He was another guy yeah. that we were told was going to be a really good starter uh, once he yeah. grew into the brawl and then didn't. So mm-hmm. it's got to be hard, man. Justin, I mean, I mean, uh, Matt, like as a as a goalie, you know, it, it seems like goalies get better with time. What is it about the development process that you think that is missed out on 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 professional level goalies? Well, I think it's timing. I think like look at Spencer Knight. He's he just got signed and he's behind a guy with nine years left in his deal. Like, hopefully that works out for him. I mean, we're Lincoln is lucky because who else do we have? You know, I think it's timing and just uh, falling into the right system. And and you got to get on and stay on it. If you have a bad game, you're you're probably not going to you're not going to last long. If you're a young guy, you got to just kind of take the job over it seems yeah. like yeah 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 it, it seems it, it just seems like you have some guys who develop quickly you have some guys who you like like i think uh leonard's a really good example because he was yeah. good but wasn't so good in buffalo then he moved on to the islanders and then he looked more co- well, he looked better i think he was with ottawa too, or uh, yeah. st louis he started with right i don't remember him with st louis I, okay, I only remember Bishop. him with Buffalo. I'm thinking of Ben Bishop. You're right. Okay. Yeah. And then Ben Bishop started the, with that St. Louis Blues too. That's what's crazy to yeah, me too. He he's been all over, and he's a solid goalie. Yeah. And then uh, Leonard came to the Hawks, and he was solid, man. And now uh, that he's he in, was. He, now he's in Vegas. I mean, he's just hitting his stride. Like, what yeah. is it about maybe moving to a different location, the change of scenery? Like, what is it about guys that they have such a hard time? Uh, becoming a, a force at the goalie position in the NHL. Well, it seems like Leonard wanted to be the man, and he wanted to get paid. He wanted to get paid like the man, and you know he wanted the job. And honestly, Bowman, he messed that one up. I think we could have had a future goalie. They just didn't want to pay him. And I think he wanted the spotlight. Vegas is an up-and-coming team. He kind of stole... Flurry's job, but then Flurry kind of got it back. So we'll see. You know, Flurry's not going to last forever. He's no. getting up there. So, but there's, consistency there's a lot of goalies been an like issue, this. though, too. You look at Carter Hart in Philly. They, he, I've had to hear, oh, Carey Price. This is the next Carey Price. That's and a good point. They've been saying for him a long terrible. time. Yeah. Long they, they've time. had trouble with goalies since Briskalov. Remember, they signed him. Yeah. He's, he's, oh, he's going to be God. the wow. He's going to be the guy that carries us, and he. It was like what a nine-year deal. It just did not work. What out. was the thing yeah. they interviewed him and he was talking about like space? Space, space oh, is so big. It's just <laughs> weird. He started. But you know what? The spotlight and the media got to him. You could totally tell. Like yeah. it just. Yeah. He's just like you know what? I'm just gonna talk about weird shit. And he stopped playing hockey. And then I think he jumped around a little bit. And he was really, really good on the Ducks. Like he he helped that team win the cup. He played the first round or two rounds when uh, Jagir was hurt. Remember, mm-hmm. it was that 08? Yeah. Might have been 08 yeah. or 07 or something. Yeah, it, he, with the Ducks. Yeah, I think that was 07, Matt. 07, yeah. He he was good. 
and they knew he was he was going to get traded and he was going to sign a big deal somewhere. And um, I, I he went to Phoenix, he ended up didn't in he? Phoenix, yes, yeah, he, he went. Did, yeah. He beat the Hawks that series. Yeah, he did. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Then after that, wait, hold on. That big oh, yeah, was that? He did. He did. Yeah, with or was Mike that Mike Smith? Smith? Right? That was that might have been Mike Smith. Was, yeah, yeah I was right. going to say I thought you're that right. was Mike you're Smith. Right. He signed his big deal after his Phoenix years, and then he went to and then he went to Calgary, Philly, Philly. No, I was yeah. talking about Mike Smith. I'm sorry. Oh, Smith. Yeah, I've never been a fan. Me either. No, it was cool. No, he scored no. a goal and stuff, but I'm, you know, yeah. he beat the Hawks that year. That's yeah. I think he my was dead to me after that. Crawford was just terrible that series. He let some terrible OT goals, and the Hawks yeah. just looked. They looked like they just had to coast through, and Phoenix didn't let that happen. And I props to Phoenix for that. They just, All right, here's here's a here's a goalie trivia question. Going back to Robin Leonard in 2011. When Robin Leonard was one of the goalies for the Ottawa Senators, who was the other goalie in that tandem? It wasn't Craig um, Anderson at that wow, time. Wow, I was just going to say Hammond? that too. Gosh, dang it. Wow. Was it Hammond just, or was he a surprise? Uh, no, not Hammond. Hammond was a little bit later. Ray Emery. Uh, not according to this, no. No. Uh, I'll give you another hint. This guy is still playing in the league. <laughs> Starting? If, uh No. Actually, no. Uh, he might be, depending on the night, because the the starter is not doing so hot this year. What division? Uh, <laughs> I believe it, I believe it would be the East, if I'm thinking correctly. What East. city? <laughs> uh, I believe Philadelphia. <laughs> Brian Elliott. Yes. <laughs> oh Brian my Elliott. gosh! Wow. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I was just looking up Leonard's yeah. stats. You should have like, said he was a former Blue. Former oh, Blue. Oh yeah, that would have that would have nailed it. So yeah, Elliott's wow. kind of. Back and forth with Hart. That guy's been around forever. Holy yeah, he cow. has. He's good on the Blues, though. He was, man. Mm-hmm. He had a really solid run on the Blues, and yeah. I had him on my fantasy hockey team because he uh, he was pretty solid. Oh, geez. They also had Pascal. Remember Pascal LeClaire? Oh, yeah. Another bust. Uh, he was in Columbus, I think, too, for a while. All right. Anyway. So. Oh. So, anyways. Um, how is the... Matt... How is the playoffs shaping up? Well, it looks like Nashville uh, is going to get this fourth spot, I think. Uh, I think Dallas lost tonight, or they are losing right now. I I know I picked up, what's his name? Uh, Who's the Dallas goalie? Uh, Kudobin. Kudobin, yeah. They lost in OT. One nothing against Nashville. (laughs) Wow. Wow. That was a big game. What a barn burner. That That was a big game. Uh, I'd rather see a game three to three than a one to nothing game anytime. There's been a lot this year. I, yeah. I, uh, I think the recently one of my goalies lost in a shootout. It was a one nothing win and he still got the shutout, which I thought was cool because I just climbed up in the standings because of it, but he still lost and got a shutout. I thought that's pretty cool. Yeah. Totally. It might've been, it might've been Dubnik. But uh, Colorado's getting hot again. They got their goalie back. McKinnon got into a fight. <laughs> how did he? How did he do? It was kind of a shoving fest a little bit, but he was upset with uh, how one his defenseman was taken down, going in for a shot, and he went to stick up with the guy, stick up for him. Then the gloves came off. They got some punches in, and um, he kind of ragdolled this guy a little bit. To be honest with you, I forgot He's who he fought. He's a big dude, man. I mean, he's, he, he's a strong guy, I should say. Um, he's an imposing. He's he seems like a really imposing player, man. He's like a. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. He's like a. How do you say? He's like a stronger Sidney Crosby in a way. Yeah, he's like a stronger, like same, faster uh, Sidney yeah. Crosby. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, That's a good comparison. Well, in the West, it looks like. Uh, St. Louis is kind of pulling away from the Coyotes. Uh, they're up. Uh, they got fifty-three points, and the Coyotes have forty-nine. And the Coyotes have fifty-one games played, and St. Louis only has forty-nine. So oh. it looks like it looks like St. Louis might be that fourth team, sure. which was going to suck for Vegas or Colorado because St. Louis is they're battle tested. Yeah, and I think if they can get in there, they can surprise some people. Yeah, especially with Tarasenko back. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't sleep on them, that's for sure. 
I'm not a fan of Tarasenko. I almost didn't buy that year. He was on the cover of NHL because I didn't like him. <laughs> then again, I don't like it any year because uh, that, that, it, unless the Hawks are on there, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to buy this one. <laughs> You know what I bought? Uh, I usually try to buy the Stanley Cup edition. That way I can get the game. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. Me and Just nice. always play uh, three on three. Yep, that was yeah, that was, was our, our, that was our EA, thing. Probably since '09. Just we've been. Oh God! You see us on there. We're the two idiots that. Uh, are you guys still like the Bazzers banger, Brazzers bangers, or whatever? <laughs> that was. I, I just want to. I want to go on the record. That was all. Uh, your cousin. Uh, what was, was our <laughs> best team, Just? We were. Oh, God. Are you talking about name or just in general? No, our last. We played last year the Austin Matthews cover. Was that 2020? Yeah, we, we played a ton of that one. Yeah. We we got some championships. We were good. Had we, some banners. We finally got over the hill and we. we uh, I think we got two banners. So we it was a big deal for us. It was like I, uh, our first one in five years. Yeah, because we sucked for quite a while. Or, yeah, or, I, no, some... you know what? I don't think we sucked. We just didn't play it as much because we're adults and have jobs, and the yeah, other it's, people it's, uh, played it's it tough. <laughs> like I, I, I waited till that game hit twenty bucks, like two weeks ago, and then I bought it. And it came with um, they redid NHL ninety four, but put all the current teams. Yeah. So I, I play that more. Like that was worth the twenty bucks just to play that because it's got like you know Kane and Taves and everybody in the game in the NHL ninety four mode. So. That's that's what I play. And don't they have Ovi on there with like the? Yeah, he's got like his gold chain and his tooth and missing and everything. Yeah. And his miss and the the, the reflective, uh, reflective visor. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. that was cool when he had that. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the old style sports arcade arcadey games more than the the real deal. I'm not. I don't have the patience anymore. Mm. So I like the B. But. I'm always a f- fan of the be my player mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fun. That is fun. I agree. I'm like, I made it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm I'll tell my wife. I'm my a, wife's like, I'm a what are you doing? I'm a 36 year old She's like, rookie. what are you doing? I'm yeah. getting ready to score the, the game winner Stanley Cup hat trick right now. <laughs> I'm signing well, you this, know, this four year extension <laughs> for 50 million. Yeah. Well, well, you, you got to write so in your awesome. name and your, your age you put in. I was born in '86. I'm like, wow, I'm I'm gonna be an old rookie. Yeah, yeah man. Track. I don't I don't even yeah. I don't put my uh, my real age in it anymore yeah. because I'm you put on I'm the I'm freaking year. retired. <laughs> yeah, it got yeah. really depressing really quickly there. Uh, I know you know you're old when you have to scroll for your age and it just keeps going and going. going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I <laughs> not to not to sidebar, but the other day I was having the kids work on a project and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll put Spotify on. You guys are being good. We'll listen to music. And I put some like I have like a '90s alternative playlist saved with like the edited stuff, so no, there's no swearing or anything. Oh, okay. And the kids are like, "Mr. Macquay, what is this? This music is so old. This is oh, what my, my parents listen to." I'm like, "This is the Foo Fighters. This isn't yeah. old, oh, you know, my, or Nirvana, yeah. you know, stuff like oh, that." My, so. yeah. my middle son loves grunge music. It's hilarious. Nice. He's like, "Hey, Dad, let's put on some Alice in Chains." I'm like, nice. "You got it, bud." Some you know and then my older son's like, "What is this?" You know? Someone said that that is that is considered the uh, classic rock now. Grunge. Yeah, that's, yeah. If the loop was still around, that'd be on the loop, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I I it, love that it, music. It I peaked. It. it peaked in the 90s and it's been downhill ever since. Well, everything's just weird now. Everything, all this new music's weird. I cannot listen to it. Like Q101 or whatever it's called now. Yeah. It's oh, so W-K-K-X, bad. Yeah. It's so bad. I don't even listen to the radio. No, I can't anymore. Well, you know what's good to listen to is XM. So. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Especially XM, uh, was it NHL Network? That's a good radio station, isn't it? Agreed. <laughs> dropping easter eggs huh yeah yeah dropping <laughs> dropping a few easter eggs uh yeah that boomer and uh rick or not, jake jake, jake Hon, sorry i'm thinking show. of white socks i'm thinking of rick Hon. that boomer <laughs> and jake Hon show is a good show great show <laughs> <laughs> well okay guys we're gonna wrap it up um hawks have carolina coming up don't they three yes. game set right three, three game games. set we're gonna come out with uh, another Another show this week, maybe around Tuesday. Drop it on Wednesday, possibly. <laughs> and then uh, we'll take it from there. But um, it's not looking too good. Hopefully, we could see more of the younger guys in their plan. Let's and get Delia a shot. Yeah, give Delia a yeah, shot. Please, I don't see please. why not. Three games, three I, goals. I'd love to not? see him. I'd love to see how he's, um, if he's progressed at all. And, and give him some NHL experience, you know, especially against some solid competition. 
So yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyways, do us a favor, give us a review on the on the interwebs on uh was it Apple Podcasts? You can give reviews on there. Yep. And um and let us know what you think. Catch us on Twitter and you can find the link to our Twitter account in the in the comments section. Not the comments, the uh, the notes section in the podcast apps. So this is Mike and the Tomahawk, Justin and Matt, and we're out of here. <laughs>